Next question is from Britt Maxton. What are your thoughts on powder-based meal replacement shakes and the meal replacement concept? Oh, God. You know what? This this makes me... This is such a great example. And I love it that it's in our space uh, because we could comment on this. Meal replacements. What a yeah. great example of uh, our, the a human's natural narcissistic arrogance. Like, we're so arrogant that we think... I mean, this is the truth now, Okay. Besides the brain, the brain is the most complex thing we've discovered in the universe by far. The next most complex thing is mammalian metabolism. Our, how food is processed and used in our body is extremely complex. And we still don't know, we still don't understand all of it. For example, it wasn't that long ago, I think it was like less than 10 years ago, maybe even shorter than that, that we discovered that breast milk that women produce for their babies changes depending on the time of day that she's producing the breast milk. Morning breast milk. Wakes yeah, that was a recent study. Yeah, it wakes the baby up, breast milk at night, helps the baby sleep. We didn't know that before. We were giving yeah. baby formula, and we're like, oh, it's got proteins, carbs, it's got you know some the fats. essentials. Yeah. We've got nutrients in there, so it gives the baby everything it needs. Powder-based meal replacements will keep you alive. Okay, right. you're, they're not going to. You're not going to. This, this is Soylent's entire pitch. Yeah, you're 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 not going to die from them. But they're definitely not ideal, and we're so arrogant to think that we can create in a laboratory a food and a powder that's going to give you optimal life. And remember, being alive doesn't mean you're living. Just because you're alive doesn't mean you're living. Living is, is far more complex. Here's the other part of it that we completely, completely negate and don't even consider. There's a psychological component that's huge that comes from food. Oh, yeah. You're going to cut that all completely out? The enjoyment you get from making food, eating food with friends, sharing in the different flavors and textures mm -hmm. and experience from food. Think of all the emotional connections you have food. A lot of them are bad, but some of them are good. Let's just get rid of all of them and now get people to just have – and that's what they sell. They sell like, it's oh, it's super convenient. You don't have to get up from your desk. You don't have to worry about you know food anymore. It's cheaper. Just mix this up in your water, drink it, and now it's you like mindless your body. eating too. No, you're not a car. You know what I mean? Or just put gas. Well, the the, con the concept of it and why it works is because it controls that for most people that need that control, right? That's why they're successful with it. The reason why I think something like something as silly as like Slim Fast could be around for as long as it's been around and and work for so many people is because those same people you know, we're, are too lazy to weigh their food or measure or track or pay attention. It's just much easier for them to say like, hey, instead of swinging by Subway or having your, your sandwich that you normally have for lunch, have Slim Fast instead. Yeah. And it's a whole 135 calories, you know what I'm saying? So that's the concept of it and why it could potentially work for people is just simply the calorie restriction. You go from somebody who doesn't track calories or over consuming or under reporting and now all of a sudden they have this little tiny controlled drink that's only got a few hundred calories. I in wonder, it. is there somebody out there that's like tried to live off of just liquid, uh, like a liquid diet, oh, like how long it's gone? The soy, the Soylent guy. Isn't I know. I want to yeah. know like the, the, <laughs> the length he was able to like keep you, it up. You, you could survive. You absolutely could. Yeah. You, you yeah. absolutely, that's why. I mean, you could do it, but I mean like what a, like a horrible existence. Well, and, you know, there's probably somebody who's listening right now too. Is like, well, aren't you guys sponsored by a powder? We never tell people to replace their foods. No, with, that's with, the last thing I would say. Right. No, 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 no. Well, that, that, but I think it's important to bring that up because I think some people just don't get that. They hear, they hear us talk about a product and think that, that we would recommend it like that. And we never would it's just bottom line, you know, is it, does it, does it have value sometimes? Sure. Like if I'm and how I, use it and how I tell clients to use it is, you know, if I tell you as your trainer that uh, I need you to get 130 grams of protein, that's what you should be eating on for optimal performance and results in your goal. And it's eight o'clock at night, you had all your meals already and you're at 75 grams of protein. Uh, I think it's an excellent choice to be able to do something, whip up a shake real quick and have that. Do I think that's better though than you actually getting under there, grilling a piece of chicken mm -hmm. and having some rice and broccoli? No, definitely not. But the reality is a lot of people would choose a, something that's way worse or skip the intake completely completely when their body needs that extra protein. So to me, that's that's how things like this should be used. Unfortunately, the money is behind people using it all the time and as mm -hmm. much as possible. If it's got 30 servings in it, I want you to get through that in the entire month. So these companies try and make the case for it that it can replace a meal. It's better for this. It's convenient all the time. Oh, let's do this. And so now it's turned. With, and what I hated in, in our space is I used to get clients, and I know you guys have had the same situation where I'd have clients that hire me and they'd be like, 
you know, I, I got my trainer, I've got my shakes, I've got my bars. Like they, they think that it's it's a healthy thing for them to do is to add this into the diet. And I'd be like, well, why did you do that? Do we need that? Or do you need- They would eat that specifically instead of lunch. Right. Yeah. You know, things yeah. like that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And we also don't know what we don't know. That's my that's my whole point about food. There's still, a, we, we discover things about food still today all the time. Now, I do think at some point we might figure it all out. But I don't think we're there at all. And so, and I'm referring to people who are replacing meals with these powders, like the Soylent, you know, powder where their whole thing is just drink these all day long. You'll never have to get up from your desk. You could totally work all the time and whatever. And mm. and you'll be healthier because it's, you know, we made the it's perfect- Promoting good habits. Yeah, because we've made the perfect food. Um, no, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea at all. I think it reinforces a bad relationship to food. I think it prevents you from- Developing a relationship with uh, with food and, and good understanding that is anything that is any that resembles anything that's long term. If you want long term, I've never met anybody who lost weight with liquid, you know, protein shakes or, or or meal replacement shakes through replacing meals. I've never met anybody who had a long term. It's never been sustainable in my, in my experience. Yeah, there's no long term exit strategy. No. Okay. Oh, and then well, what are you going to do after you lose your your hundred pounds? Oh, then I'll go back to regular eating, you know, regular food. Yeah. Oh, you mean. Like you did before, because you didn't have you don't have the relationship with food that helped you do that properly. You're just gonna jump back into it. Oh no, we have a strategy. Like that's the hard part. Yeah. That's what you should be working on. Working on right now. Exactly. <laughs>